I'm going to show you how to get the DVD decryptor. Ho ho ho. First, you got to go to the internet. Then, oh, wait a second. It's loading up my YouTube channel. Type in DVD. Paused it. DVD decrypt. Right here. Hmm. Let's see. This should be it. Well, actually, you can download any of these you want. Well, let's just go with. This one, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see which would be the best one. Well, I can't remember how I downloaded it before. It's good for ripping DVDs onto your computer. <sighs> this, I think, would be good. And then, run or save or whatever. Oh, I'll just run. But I already have it installed, so I don't have to worry about that. And you should not have it installed, it's real easy. Just follow the steps, and then when you got it installed, right here is David Day Decryptor. You put it in your disk. Make sure the mode is set to IFO and the tools go to settings. Make sure in IFO mode it's set to none. Click OK and then go to uh, okay what else <laughs> when you have a DVD in here what I'm gonna polish it on DVD and make an example. Okay, I just put in a random DVD and click on stream processing right here and make sure you only have checked these two for the video and um, the audio is the English and yeah, you don't want to hear them going Oh, nice horn, chunga. Oh my gosh. It won't do anything. Oh yeah, you have to do that. You have to enable this. There. Make sure you uncheck these. These should be the only two checked. Then when you're done, then you just click this thingy. And then it's going to rip it to this hard drive. Or wait a second. Yes, I do. Huh? Yes. Don't forget this. Browse for a folder. You can put it in wherever you want. Where you want it to save. After it's done. That's pretty much it with that. Bye, bye.